Billie Eilish's success is an example of how you can make yourself and your talents known on the internet and get a portion of world fame. As a 14-year-old teenager, Billie posted a video for the song Ocean Eyes on the net, which went viral and traveled around the globe. However, the phenomenon of Eilish is quite understandable. The girl grew up in the environment of musicians and from childhood was passionate about composing and performing songs. Now she is eagerly discovering new facets of her talent. But before we start, subscribe to our channel and post the video in social networks. And then we will tell you about how Billie Eilish lives and her secret confessions. Billie Eilish pirate Baird O'Connell was born on December 18, 2001 in Los Angeles, USA. The singer is of predominantly Irish-Scottish descent. Parents Patrick O'Connell and Maggie Baird are folk musicians, and their children, eldest son Phineas and daughter Billie Eilish, were accustomed to musical creativity from an early age. For greater immersion in this process, the adults even transferred the children to homeschooling. Subsequently, Billy admitted in interviews that she considered it normal to spend the whole day composing music and songs. For the first few years of her life, Billy saw only the inspiring example of her family in front of her. Her mom wrote songs, her father played piano and Hawaiian guitar, and made great mixtapes. Brother Phineas wrote his first songs. Billy, who from the age of two began to show vocal talent and demonstrated a great ear and sense of rhythm, also tried to write something. Her first idols were the Beatles and Avril Lavigne. Three years, from eight to 11 years, Billy sang in a children's choir. In parallel with this activity, the girl shot video on an amateur camera and even created a couple of short films with the help of a special application for iPhone. In addition to acting and music, another passion of the future star was dance. Eilish, as a teenager, took choreography lessons. It was dance. Its idea and staging were the girl's goal when she starred in the video for the song Ocean Eyes. The composition was written by Phineas. He was already playing in his own band and asked his sister to perform the single for the recording of the video. Neither he nor she even thought that this video would be the beginning of her stellar career. 2016 was the time of a bright start for the singer. This year, the guys posted Eilish's debut single on SoundCloud and released a music video with Billy dancing. Dance career of the girl had to stop. The injury did not give her the opportunity to develop further, but her vocal talent was at its best. The recorded song was an incredible success with more than 10 million listens in a short period of time. Billy was approached by several major record labels to buy the rights to the song. Darkroom and Interscope Records released the single and studio sound to be heard by music lovers around the world. By the end of the year, Billy had recorded another single, Six Feet Under. On January 14, 2017, Eilish presented an EP with four remixes of Ocean Eyes. Billy then recorded a number of other songs, including Bored, which was included on the official soundtrack of the famous Netflix series, 13 Reasons Why. In July 2017, the singer announced the highly anticipated EP, Don't Smile at Me. The album was released in August 2017, and in February 2018, the singer left for a tour called Where's My Mind, in which she spent two months. After a series of concerts, the singer returned not at all tired, but full of original ideas, one of which she soon realized. It is a collaboration together with an artist named Khalid. Their joint single Lovely was also on the soundtrack list for season two of the TV series 13 Reasons Why. From fall 2018 to spring 2019, the artist one by one released tracks that were announced as singles of the debut full-length studio album, Bitches, Broken Hearts, Bury a Friend, When the Party's Over, and others. At the same time, the music videos for these compositions were released, which mesmerized and shocked at the same time. So, in the video for Where the Party's Over Black Tears Flow from the Girl's Eyes, and in You Should See Me in the Crown, a giant live spider crawls out of her mouth. The singer doesn't accept limits and is used to playing by her own rules. This applies not only to creativity, but also to image. Billy dyes her hair in blue and gray colors. She can be seen more often in pajamas than in a swimsuit. Despite her slim figure, her favorite outfits are wide, shapeless, oversized hoodies with bulky accessories that hide her breasts and figure. The album titled When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? was released on March 29, 2019. Long before its release, the producers received a lot of pre-orders, and after, the disc soared to the top of the charts. And this is where Billy started to break all kinds of records. In the UK, the 17-year-old became the youngest artist ever to reach the top of the chart. She also became the first artist born in the Ventilon century, who managed to take the first place in the Billboard 200 chart. Billie Eilish's work, which combines such genres as indie pop, 
R&B, hardcore, gospel, and trip hop in an original way has already earned positive reviews, not only from music critics, but also from indie music stars Dave Grohl and Lana Del Rey. By the way, it was her vocal style that Billy's early work was compared to. The year 2021 marked a big change for the artist. The star opened a store with clothes and accessories of her brand, deciding to direct creative intentions in a new direction. In March, the singer received another Grammy Award. This time, the award went to the song No Time to Die, which was the soundtrack to the movie No Time to Die. The Los Angeles native shared her victory with her brother, who performs under the name Phineas. Finally, the performer dramatically changed her image. The rebel with green hair was replaced by a charming blonde. Interestingly, Ailish did not immediately recolor. The hairdresser did several procedures so that the hair did not suffer from discoloration. For this reason, for some time, the artist even went in a wig. However, after a year, she appeared before her fans, Searing Brunette. The long-awaited second album of the performer Happier Than Ever was released in the summer of 2021. The production of the studio record also involved the singer's brother, Phineas O'Connell. The music on the compilation utilized a variety of genres ranging from jazz to sophisti-pop. The overall mood of the songs is lyrical, and themes of emotional abuse were evident in the lyrics. After its premiere, the album was favorably received by critics. The composition, No Time to Die, was nominated for an Academy Award. Ailish's rival for the statuette was Beyoncé, who performed the soundtrack to the drama King Richard. Both had to perform their songs during the ceremony in March 2022. According to the results of the voting, Billy won. She shared the award with her brother. In the fall of 2022, a new collection of clothing and footwear, which Ailish released together with Nike. In the biography of the young star has a medical history. As a child, Ailish suffered from tics caused by Tourette's syndrome. The singer does not hide it and even talked about it in detail. Of course, fans have always been interested in the singer's personal life because she has never been a fan of putting romantic photos on her blog. In the summer of 2021, there were rumors that Billy meets with actor Matthew Wirth. The young man managed to star in a number of episodic roles in short films and TV series, but became more famous for his scandalous statements on social networks. The reason to attribute the singer's romance with Worth was a joint trip to Disneyland. However, the performer did not hurry to confirm or deny the speculations of journalists. And in the fall, paparazzi several times caught Billy on dates with Jesse Rutherford, frontman of the neighborhood. Ailish confirmed the relationship with the musician, who is 11 years older than her. In the spring of 2023, the media reported that Eilish and Rutherford broke up, but managed to maintain their friendship. Also, the network was shaken up by the singer's recent statement about her unconventional sexual orientation. After speaking at Variety's Hitmakers event, Billy admitted that she is attracted to both men and women. The young star made a cameo appearance on the red carpet of the event, confirming the journalist's assumption, I love guys and girls, leave me alone, please, who cares? Wasn't that obvious? I've been doing this for a long time and I just haven't talked about it. I have deep connections with the women in my life, the friends in my life, the family in my life. I am physically attracted to them, but I'm also very intimidated by them and their beauty and their presence," the celebrity commented. In 2023, Billy's fans were able to appreciate another facet of her talent when the celebrity made her debut in the TV series, Roy. The lack of profile education did not prevent the fulfillment of this dream. In the summer, Billy broke another record. Diamond certification was given to her hit Bad Guy, which back in 2019 hit Nummy One on the Billboard Hot 100 and stayed there for 49 weeks. Guys, if you liked our video and you haven't subscribed to us yet, subscribe right now and share the video on social media. There will be a lot of interesting stuff in the next episodes. See you soon. Bye.